The independent newspaper of London has revealed Britain discussed plans to exploit Iraq's oil reserves with some of the world's biggest oil companies five months before it joined the United States and in invading the country. Citing previously secret documents, the newspaper said at least five meetings were held between British officials and BP and Royal Dutch Shell in late 2002. BP privately told the British Foreign Office at the time Iraq was, quote, more important than anything we've seen for a long time. The documents were obtained by the oil campaigner Greg Muttet, author of the new book Fuel on the Fire, Oil and Politics in Occupied Iraq. Tony Blair famously said in, in early 2003, the, the idea that we're, we're interested in Iraq's oil is, is absurd. It's one of the most absurd conspiracy theories you, you can imagine, if you remember. And at the same time as he was saying that, I, there was a, an uh, an internal document, a secret document in the Foreign Office, which set out British strategy towards Iraqi oil, and it said, Britain has an absolutely vital interest in Iraq's oil. A top British military intelligence official has said Britain's discredited 2002 dossier on Iraq's weapons of mass destruction program was drawn up, quote, to make the case for war. According to The Guardian newspaper, Major General Michael Laurie has testified, saying, quote, we knew at the time that the purpose of the dossier was precisely to make a case for war, rather than setting out the available intelligence. Laurie's testimony directly contradicts statements by former British Prime Minister Tony Blair and other officials.